Hey guys and welcome to Kane Plays Saint Kotar the Yellow Mask. This is a um, prologue, I think, uh, to um, a game I was expecting uh, to release <laughs> for quite a while. Uh, it's a point-and-click uh, sort of horror adventure game. And those are kind of um, a dying breed nowadays because not a lot of people make them, but yeah. Without any further ado, I'm going to jump right in. Really excited about the, the, this one. I believe in God. God is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. What is this place? I have no memory of it. Pure. Guilty. I did something horrible, but I can't remember what it is. I can't remember my life at all. I need help, and I must seek forgiveness. Um, so just standard, standard point-and-click adventure controls. A silent cathedral of tall trees. Its gaze gives me a crippling sense of dread. I'm not capable of taking that path. Looks really creepy. There's something about this church. I think I've already visited it numerous times in the past, but I don't have any memory to support that thought. Anything else outside? Graves. I have a strange feeling looking at these graves. For reasons unknown, the stones have no names or dates, just a cross. I have a strange. Okay. For reasons unknown. Mm. Let's peek inside. It's barely visible, but the altar seems unusual. It is adorned with strangely shaped sticks and. I think yellow cloths. I can't. It's stuck. Someone's holding it from the inside. May I come in? All I seek is help and forgiveness. That voice, I recognize it. it. Won't budge. Father, can you let me in? I know it's you. We are on the doorstep of the blessed house. I'm asking you. I'm begging. You have not set your mind on the things of God, but on the things of men. I know I did something horrible, I can feel it, but everything's so obscured, I have no memory of my deeds. I beg you, have mercy, let me pass. I need his help and absolution. Something's appearing on the stone. Probably our name. <laughs> Petra Donani. 1943 to 1997. Forgive me, Mother. I barely remember you. It reads, Yosef Donani, 1935 to 1990. The year of his death is missing. I can't remember what happened to you. Father, can you... Your mind was infected by your corrupted soul. Shame on you, unrighteous creature. Can't remember anything from my past. My mind may be roaming in the shadows, but my soul is still pure. Let me talk to him. My mind may be roaming in the shadows, but my soul is still pure. Let me talk to him. 
You don't have a soul anymore, son. Look inside. What do you see? Guilt and sorrow. If you had stayed true to the faith, nothing sinful would have ever happened. I've never abandoned the faith. The, the true faith. What is true faith? I know you taught me what it is, but I can't remember. I can't remember anything from the past. A long time ago, you've made a fateful decision to abandon God. There shall be no grace for you. I never abandoned God. Let me pass. Let me understand what... Enough! No words will ever open that door again for you. It's a pity to what you've been reduced to, Benedek. A corrupted soul is like a bottomless black pit. It nourishes a false faith. You have been eternally banished from his house. But forgiveness is what he can give, even in the darkest of places. Accept your burden! I have to take my burden. His Bible. <laughs> I accept your Bible, Father. It is my burden now. Now walk to the other side of the valley until you reach the place of torment and sorrow. That is my punishment, to dwell eternally in such a place. You've already been punished. For your sins you have been cursed. Who cursed me? God did this to me? Deeds cannot be undone but can be forgiven. If you truly repent and want to be absolved in his eye, you must go and save your bloodline's last soul. I don't understand. I'm the last of my bloodline. Everyone else is dead. Fallacy. Now leave. Act before the time has passed. Wait, I'm begging you. Who's the last soul? Father? Father! Answer me! Into your hands I commend my fate like I always did. I don't know who I am looking for, but I need to act quickly and find that poor soul before it's too late. For both of us. I'm gonna go in the church, I guess. The path to redemption. Or hell. This is the place. Not a single soul is alive here. I may be late. so close to this strange altar is unbearable. All of these people scorched beyond recognition. It's impossible to... Hold on. They all have almost identical marks on their flesh. So familiar. I must have seen them before. I know. Seals of pledge. The devil's marks. These people pledged their obedience to the most evil of all. Poor, mindless beings. There's something in one of the cadavers' neck. A necklace, it seems. It's a rosary. Still intact. Some initials are carved on the cross. B. D. I can't recall. 
Hall. I'm struggling, but there's something about it that... Um... <laughs> Not eager to go to that yet. His limbs are still intact, but the head has no eyes, no mouth, and no ears. It's limb. It's lit. Fire mutilated its hands and gave it a locust-like figure. Salvation is what this person sought but failed to achieve. God, talk to me. Give me a sign. Where's my bloodline's last soul? Nothing but silence. What lies inside that robe is unknown, but its whispers are not mere words. Who are you? What do you want? In the name of God, answer me or be gone! of my bloodline too. I still can't remember nothing before or after this act, nothing at all. It's like I'm seeing someone else's memory. Save my sister's soul. Punish me. My sins, my sins, my sins. I can't see. I can't see anything at all. My, my eyes are fine. It's, it's just that I don't... Oh, I, I don't have my glasses on. That dream. The church from my hometown. The graves of my parents. The crucified cadavers and God in the form of an eye. Uh, it was the most terrible dream I've ever had. That wasn't me. That's not who I am, God. You know me. 
I remember everything from my past. I've never sinned. I've never been forbidden to enter a church. I know what true faith is. I'm obedient only to you, God. It's what I want. It's how my father taught me to be. My father, who one day just disappeared from our lives, shattering my mother's will to live. My father, who gave me his Bible the day before he left our family. What? I, I can't find it. It's not in my jacket. Where is it? It must be here somewhere. A lot of religious themes in this. It's my blanket. <laughs> Object. A wooden stick? I don't need it. Okay. Uh, this sucks. It's my blanket. Pixel hunting. Something's on the floor. Glasses? Oh. Good. Oh, <sighs> so distressed. How was I supposed to find anything without them? Victoria may have been killed by my hand inside the nightmare, but she did something even more terrible to me outside of it. She dragged me to this town and made me stay in this living tomb of a house that tried to taint me while I was sleeping. No, it didn't try to taint me. It tried to curse me. Yes, to curse my soul. I was told in the nightmare that I was cursed. It must have been my mind which was trying to warn me I was being cursed by the house, or by the town as a whole. I don't know. Both, I guess. I'm still in peril here. I should leave at once. But I can't. I can't leave without my Bible, and I can't leave alone. Not without my... my bloodline's last soul by my side. It resembles a dying woman or one that's suffering unbearable pain. One of her eyes is gouged out, and the other one is closed, and parts of her face are mutilated. This is not a stoop, and the water inside is not holy. This is profane. This is not a stoop. Tall, dark trees, a crossroad, and a lonely house. It's as bleak as it is in here. It depicts a pale, bald man with a very long, white, or even yellow beard. It depicts a... It's like staring into a starless sky, completely black, cold, silent. It's a bust of an unknown veiled person. Everything here feels so wrong. Nothing but an endless mass of trees and shrubs under a thick layer of dreary clouds. Seems very similar to this game to Black Mirror. At least in tone. I don't understand the smaller ones. It's something abstract. But the lady, she has kind, dark eyes, and a grave face with long black hairs, and such a strange, sad smile. It doesn't belong to any of us, 
but maybe. Something inside, maybe? Nothing. Just a few very long and thick spikes. Take the spikes. There's nothing of value in there. Try to get off, but I think we have to find something first. Mother used to have a similar one. I can still hear its sound in my head. See the images of those beautiful childhood days in my mind. Creepy dolls. It looks like a miniature of a skull-headed humanoid tribe. It's an older man, apparently terrified by something he has seen, without being able to see. Those look like... Death masks, I think. An elderly man with a strangely shaped face. Both of his eyes are gouged out. The area around the mouth looks particularly strange. Hmm. It feels different, like a separate object. It's moving. It can be pulled. Something moved somewhere. I never should have touched it. Our place? No. It's like staring at... Stoop, maybe? This is not a stoop. Can we finally take, take the stick? I don't need it. Okay, well, let's go upstairs, I guess. I can't see my Bible in these shadows. I just hope... Victoria must have taken it from me while I was asleep and then placed it somewhere upstairs. There is no other explanation, even though it is strange. She never did that. give her a frog-like resemblance. The painting is stained, but the sinister gaze of the man is still clearly noticeable. What are those noises? Is that a giant heart? Manuscript of Luca Tomini, Codex Niva, Goldin, Heart of Pagubice? I've never heard of these works. Miniatures of strangely shaped white people. It's an unfinished painting of what looks to be like a mother and a child standing in shallow water. This makes me wonder, are all the creations in this house a consequence of someone's imagination or experience? Probably. A light or something. Who's there? Victoria? Nikolai? Where's my Bible? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Where is she? Under the blanket. Come closer. Wake her up. Leave it for the sake of my eyes. I hate the dark. grieving man with a forehead full of horrible dark lesions. It re 
reminds me of a man I haven't seen for a while. One day he just stopped attending our church. The bed's empty. Where is she? What do you believe in, Benedict? Where's my sister? I need to see her. She took my Bible away from me. Answer me first. Besides God, what do you believe in? I believe life should be spent in solitude where questions like yours cannot arise. See, I believe life is pointless without a family. We don't exist if we don't belong to someone else except God. Family, Benedict. Without a family, life cannot exist. You made that clear enough when you abandoned priesthood to marry my sister. That was a sacrifice I believed had to be made. As of today, I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not following. Family members don't hurt each other. It's wrong. Don't you agree? Victoria hurt you? What did she do this time? You did. You turned her against me. What are you talking about? About the things you suggested to her yesterday on the train. I beg your pardon? I didn't say a word to her, to you, to no one, as a matter of fact. What about calling me an addict? That I did say. But what have I done? I didn't turn her against you. She even defended you. Of course she did. When she's the one who gave me the morphine months ago. She did what? She did what family's supposed to do. She helped her husband to alleviate his pain. Now, it's your turn, Benedict. Will you help me? Help you with what? I, I just want to talk to her. I want that too. I want to talk to my wife. So where is she? What's going on? I don't want to stay here anymore. You think I'm a degenerate? Have I imagined hearing your voices downstairs? Who? Uh, that was just me. She's not downstairs. How many times I called your names before hearing that horrible scream of yours? I screamed when I woke up from a terrible nightmare. Well, I'm living the nightmare right now. Don't lie to me. I heard you talking after that scream. I talked to God, and I talked to myself, and then I came here to talk to her. Is that true? Because the real problem I have is that the two of you emptied my whole bag while I was asleep. Why? I don't care about all that stuff. Have it. Now that he mentioned his bag, where's mine? I didn't see it downstairs. Just give me my morph... <laughs> my pills back. Make my pain go away. You think I'm a thief? Go on then, search me. I believe you can be anything you want, as long as it fits your vision of righteousness, Brother Benedict. But you're not stupid. You wouldn't risk being caught while carrying them around. Instead of accusing me, perhaps you should search in that bag of yours again. I did that, and I scoured the whole floor several times already, only to find nothing. Someone took my pills. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was her. Maybe it's time for me to start questioning my belonging to this family. I'm gonna go downstairs now. You stay here. Why? I already told you she's not there. Don't be anxious. If she is, I'll make her talk and give me my pills back. If she's not, I'll find them by myself. In any case, I'll call you once I'm done. Maybe they had a quarrel and she left before I woke up. I don't trust him. Whatever the truth is, I should take the chance and search for my Bible while he's not around. Remember what I asked you? Have you seen my Bible? I don't understand. You want my help now? <laughs> uh, 
To be honest, I'm not sure I've seen it. But you should definitely search the floor. People say I don't have a keen eye for details. So I might not have noticed it. Seems weird. Not ideal, but much better. Yeah, I can see now. Please. A yellow blanket wrinkled only on one side of the bed, which means that either Victoria or Nikolai didn't sleep here. Only one, only one person slept in this bed last night. Something with these sculptures. sculptures. I've sure. never seen this woman, but I feel like I know her from somewhere. It's not a pleasant feeling, though. Strange. These are not books. Just blank covers with no names and no numbers. My Bible doesn't seem to be among them. Mm -mm. It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches and skulls that feed its roots. The branches represent visual keychain holders, and there's a key hanging as a corpse on one of them. Let's take the key, I guess. Ah, I can't breathe. It smells so sickening. So, obviously, your wife's not here, Nikolai. She must have sneaked out while Benedict was holding you upstairs. And now you're supposed to go after her, right? Perhaps she has your pills. But if you've learned something in your marriage, it's that she always expects you to make the most obvious decision. Just look around the room first. Oh, we're playing as this guy now. Looks like the owner has an alluring hobby. Eh, these dolls are nothing special. Except for the big ones at the back. Not counting the headless ones, of course. You should definitely take one of them for your private collection. Which one do you choose? Hmm. Crowned one, horned one. I don't know. Bad choice. The image of the devil. The doll with horns. Fascinating. What do we have here? A small brown bag. And it's not just any bag. It's Benedict's bag. So you have to ask yourself why it was hidden here. What's inside? So, what exactly happened? Also, the loading times seem to be quite long. I don't know why, but... Just old clothes. And nothing but mold in them. Hmm. It's closer than I guess. locked it's locked let's check that key appalling a heap of dead yeah <laughs> Damn rats! It's got 
scurried into the wall. Who keeps a heap of dissected frogs in his house? Probably a very, very sick person. Let's try here first. It's probably an I'll have to find the key first. window the vastness of the woods is terrifying now let's check the wardrobe again Ugh. just old clothes Just old clothes. I want to see where that rat went, but... No, it went in the opposite direction. Only one person slept in this bed. Is that a... The painting is stained, but the sinister gaze. Uh, something else. Miniatures of. The curtain again? I like it as it is. Let the divine light come. Okay, but I don't know what to do. My Bible. I don't see anything. Go downstairs. I haven't checked the whole floor. I think you did. This makes me wonder are all the creations in this house? <sighs> it's an unfinished. I love pixel hunting, I just... <sighs> it's something to do with the wardrobe, but I just... No idea. And my inventory is gone again, so... Uh. No, it has to be something with the wardrobe. Just old clothes. Just old. Just old. Well, the mouse went somewhere, but. <sighs> the eyes give her a frog.
It reminds me of a man I haven't seen for a while. A grieving man with a forehead full of horrible dark lesions. Mm, I'm at a loss, honestly. Something with the cabinet? I don't know. No idea. A heap of dead. Uh. Yeah, no, no idea. Oh, I'm already stuck. Already stuck. I'm at a loss. I'm at a complete loss. The vastness of the woods is terrifying. Nope. I don't know what to do. Maybe under the bed? Only one person slept. No. Well, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys when I figure out what to do. See you guys later.